And welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I'm a little behind in these My 600 Pound Life recaps, but we're going to catch up this week. We're definitely going to go back uh, like we were doing before and doing the watch party on my second channel. Don't forget, if you guys aren't subscribed to that, go ahead and, you know, check the description. I think we're going to do a poll on how we're going to do these watch parties and everything because we got difference of opinions. Like now I can do it like how I do the reactions where I put the video up on the screen and we watch it. But a lot of people said they like the, you know, like the little ghetto set up with the camera pointing at the TV. They said it seemed like it was more. Uh, anyways, we'll, we're going to do a poll and then we're going to get back to the watch parties and, uh, yeah, get back on track to where we are. It's, it's been a heck of a week, man. We got kids off. We got kids going back to school, yada, yada, yada. But nevertheless, you guys don't want to hear that. Let's get into the newest My 600 Pound Life Season 9 Episode 2 Recap. This week's episode was about Thedrick. He's 32 years old. He lives in Florida with his mother, who is his caretaker slash enabler. As you can see here in the picture that Thedrick unfortunately has this huge uh, lymphedemia, lymphedema on his leg. It's in his leg area. To me, it looks like it's grown out of his groin. It's honestly it looks like the size of both of his legs put together. The, the dude can barely walk. He can't even get into the shower to bathe properly because he can't lift the, the lymphedema over the tub. His mother has to give him a sponge bath while he sits in his bed. Now, not only does Thedrick's mother take care of uh, bathing him, of course, she gets all of his food. Um, she makes his plate. She brings it to him in bed. She says she does these things because she doesn't want Thedrick to go to uh, a nursing facility to have, you know, other people take care of him. Now, after Thedrick's mother is done sponge bathing him, here's the crazy part. Here's where, like, the super mommy issues or whatever you want to call it, where you're just, you've literally babied your kids so much, like, the maturity level that they have probably isn't past the age of 12. After mommy gives me a bath and I go walk my big ass out and sit on the porch and wait for the for the ice cream man to drive on by, he's got a freaking account with the ice cream man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you heard that right. It's like the ice cream man is legit his drug dealer. He has got an account like you would get a credit card at a store. Like you would have a gas at a gas station if you run like a lawn care business. No, he has the credit. <laughs> he has credit for the ice cream man. So after his mom bathes him, whatever, he goes and walks outside, sits on the porch, and waits for his old dude to drive in his ice cream. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How, what is, what's the song they play? I don't even know, man. It's been so long since I've even got ice cream off the ice cream truck. I didn't know that's still a thing. So he waits for this dude to drive by the ice cream man. Ice cream man just out there creeping, looking for biggies to come, you know, buy food off his truck. <laughs> you know, who better to, uh, to ride by than old Cedric there. So, um, yeah. So the dude pulls up and legit, the, and what's so crazy, like I really didn't understand, is because let's talk about what he got off the truck, okay? Three sodas, two bags of hot Funyuns, a Nutty Buddy, a strawberry shortcake, ice cream sandwich, two fudge round pies, and a plain and a plain Nutty Buddy. Now this. The crazy thing is, this is not his first meal of the day, okay? Mm -mm, no, no. This is like his appetizer, okay? To what we're going to lead into to, uh, oh, uh, Thedrick's here first meal of the day, okay? So he gets all this, he snacks on a little bit, saves a little bit for later. That to him, going out on that porch and waiting for that man to drive by in his ice cream truck is the most exciting part of his day. That's it. That's all this dude's got to look forward to is the ice cream man. Could you imagine? Well, how old I say he was? 32 years old. That's what he's looking forward to. And you're going to tell me that. I, I kind of liked his mom. I started like his mom. We'll talk about that later on. But you're going to tell me that the parenting here didn't come into play for your 32-year-old child to be excited about the daggone ice cream man. Driving by your house. Mm -mm. No, no, no. 
So, anyways, uh, Thedric gets his uh, first meal of the day, which is pizza. And uh, <laughs> he said he really he gets pizza a lot because, you know, why else? Because he really likes pizza. Now, what he got on the menu here, he got two large pizzas, which looks like he has a little bit of everything on there. Probably a little extra cheese, probably a little extra uh, beef, ground beef, pepperoni. And he also got him a side of chicken wings and, of course... <laughs> what would an order from uh, the pizza place be without a side of the cheesy bread? Mm -hmm. And he says after he demolishes, because that's basically what you're doing. You're when you're eating this <laughs> much food, it's you're demolishing this meal. Thedrick says he's always been a big dude when he was younger. Now here's the part where <laughs> I, I don't know if this is like a thing that you know the producers of my six hundred pound life, whatever. Like we gotta know why you're fat, okay? Okay, Thedrick, you want to be on the show? So have, have a seat. We need to know the root cause of why you're fat, okay? Because all the other contestants, when they come on the show, they give us a reason why they're fat, okay? We need to know what tragedy in your life happened to get you here to be, you know, 600 plus pounds, okay? What is it? So, you know, Thedrick's like, well, fuck, I mean, you know, I don't know, man. I've had it pretty good, you know. My mom takes care of me pretty good, you know. Yeah, my dad got locked up. That sucks. But I guess I really got to think of a tragedy, tragedy so Thedrick goes on to talk about the tragedy of his great grandmother <laughs> passing away <laughs> your, great, your great grandmother what was she 102 you know like how is that I don't know man maybe I'm being a little judgmental here I'm just saying to me TLC pushes these people for a reason of why they're fat so Thedrick goes on to give this uh story about um his great <laughs> is it his great great no his great grandmother how she passed away on Halloween, and you know how he coped with that? He ate all his Halloween candy. Mm-hmm, sure did. So he went trick-or-treating that night, and old Granny just killed over and died, and he was like, oh, God, Granny, oh, Jesus Christ, and he ate all his Reese's Pieces, he ate all his candy. He's like, man, you know what? That really helped, helped the pain. That really made me deal with, deal with that deal. <laughs> that really helped me uh, deal with uh, my great Granny, who was a – uh, 105 years old, uh, passing away, you know? So I think I'm just going to turn to food now, and every time I have an issue in my life, I'm just going to eat everything in sight. You feel where I'm going with this, people? Can't we just say, can't, can't, can't the reason for a person to be fat just that they're a fatty, that they're just a glutton? Just that they like to eat, huh? Is that not a possibility? And since when can we not just be fat to be fat? I guess, yeah, you're right. Got to be more to to it than that something has went wrong with the wiring up here while we're fatties i haven't figured out my reason yet i guess i could blame a lot of stuff hell i just thought it was because i like cake last time that thedrick was on a scale he weighed in at 663 pounds so we know looking at thedrick right here in his picture okay take a look see here on the full screen would you please we know that he is beyond uh, 663 pounds. I would say that lymphedema in his leg is easily a hundred pounder. Look how big it is. Recently, Thedrick has had congestive heart failure and fluid in his lungs while in the ICU. So this dude, that his mother is bringing him food in bed. Would you look at that? The cinnamon rolls, the the ba the bacon, the eggs, just ugh, whatever. Anyways. Do we not see a pattern here, people? Do we not? If you're not a watcher, I mean, if, when we watch these other, you know, extremely death fat people, you know, we're talking like the 500 and up club. Do we not see a pattern here? They have health issues. They've been in the hospital. They've been told you don't cut back. You're going to die. And then yet here we still are. It's like. <laughs> You've already got all these health issues, and, and we're still over 663 pounds, man. It's crazy. Like, the dude was in ICU for heart failure and fluid in his lungs, okay? And he also has hypertension and high blood pressure. Are you kidding me? And hyperthyroid. Jesus. And, and to top it off, the lymphedema on his leg, okay? And his mother, his mother says that she doesn't consider herself an enabler because she doesn't go overboard, okay? But she brings in the candy in this house. Not only is he sitting outside waiting on the ice cream man, we see Thedrick run around with the bag of candy that his mama just bought from the store. Your baby boy 
your, your baby boy was just in the ICU, okay? And I don't know how in denial these people are, because a lot of people are in denial. They're like, oh, you know, even though I'm almost 700 pounds, it's totally not because I was fat. It's totally because I don't know. Um, you know, even skinny people have these problems. Even skinny people have heart failure. You know, it's totally not that I'm 700 pounds. The denial. It is scary to think that we live in people who are so out of touch with the reality in society. It's totally a scary thought. I mean, I know... I mean, because you got to think of what else. Like, if you're, if you're literally something is in your face, a seven hundred pound man that's already been to ICU, and you really still don't think that there's a problem, and you're still bringing candy, thinking that you know you don't go overboard. What else are you turning a blind eye to? You know, this is only the scratch of the surface. If you ask me, dear people, but whatever. Now, uh, later in the episode, Thedrick's brother and sister, who are the complete opposite. Look at these two uh, lovely, uh, <laughs> like, in-shape people. Would you look at that? Would you, could you imagine? Like, you know, normally we see, when we see a fatty, they're usually from a family of fatties. Um, for the most case, at least that I've seen, okay? I would hate to be that odd person out, like I'm the fatty, you know, that they're, they, they gotta be talking about you, you know what I mean? Like, you know, hey, did you see Thedrick today? I think you've gained at least another 25 pounds, you know what I mean? Like, they're talking about you, there's no... No if ands, or buts. Anyways, his brother and sister came by, and they're trying to convince Dedrick to get healthy and, uh, you know, to do what he needs to do, you know, because he has ne uh, nieces, nephews. You know, they want the dude around. He seems like a good guy. They want him around for the long haul. So they're trying to convince him to get the help that he so desperately needs if he's already been in the ICU for all these freaking problems. Clock is a ticking, people. That's all I'm saying. Thedrick and his mother pile into the van. She just, you know, squeezes Thedrick in the back of the van. They drive on um, over to Houston with plenty, trust me, people, there were plenty stops made on the way to keep, you know, Thedrick's mind off of the long car ride and being cramped into the back of a van. But they finally get to Houston, and when Thedrick weighs in, he weighs in at a whopping 740 now, he said the last time they had been on the scale, he was 663. And that was probably when he was at the ICU, last time he was at the hospital. Mm -hmm. So, since his uh, last near-death experience, due to his weight, he's put on an extra 80 freaking pounds. Thedrick tells Dr. Now his weight loss goal, or Thedrick tells Dr. Now his goal weight is 180 to 200 pounds he's got a long way to go but he can do it and he is ready to put in all the hard work it takes to get there dr now tells Thedrick if he follows the plan he could easily lose 80 pounds in a month mm -hmm. when you weigh that much and you cut your calories all back if you can really stick to it the weight can legit just fall off of you Thedrick says he's been following Dr. Now's diet, going out for exercise, and also cooking some of his own meals. Now, here on the camera, we had Thedrick uh, making his own breakfast, and then they showed, you know, uh, Mama Thedrick was, you know, fixing his shoes so he can go for a walk. He walked from a house to the trash can. At least it's something. And so, yeah, according to what uh, TLC was showing there, he seemed to be doing the damn thing, Okay. So, Dr. Now ends up just having a video chat with Thedrick and says that he does not look like he has made any progress. So, you know, it, I think it's been a month here. I can't remember. And it, he, he looks at Thedrick and pretty much, Thedrick don't look like he's lost a damn pound. So, Dr. Now, what, what's the problem? What, why ain't you falling on the diet? Thedrick and his mother end up moving to Houston and Thedrick is actually able to help with the move. He looks like he's way more mobile. He looks like, to me, he's lost some weight. At least, um, you know, he's able to to move around more, not just so much just laying in the bed. I would imagine, though, that not only is it, it's not just his weight, it's that, that freaking thing in between his legs. I could not even imagine. Like, that's got to make it, being 700 pounds and then having that on top of it, my word, dude, I don't know how he does it. Back at Dr. Now, Thedrick weighs in at 692 pounds, a total weight loss of 
48 pounds. Now, Thedrick's disappointed with his weight loss, and so is Dr. Now, but it's better than gaining, or it's better than maintaining, or it's better than just lo losing like 5 or 10 pounds, which, uh, you know, we've seen before. But Thedrick says he's going to try harder. He's going to stick to the diet even more, get, you know, get a little bit more locked down, a little bit more stricter. And Dr. Now tells him, again, he has another weight loss go of 80 pounds. Month five, he is back again seeing Dr. Now and weighing in at 615 pounds, a recent weight loss of 77 pounds. So he's only three pounds short of what Dr. Now has requested before his next meeting. And you can tell it, the dude's starting to look, you know, like a lot more healthier. So Dr. Now go, goes ahead and approves his weight loss surgery. But the thing is, is that we know we've seen this in all the other previous episodes that, you know, um, they got to do these tests to make sure that you're healthy enough for the surgery. And the thing is, like we talked about, Thedrick had some heart, you know, issues when he was in ICU and all that. His heart is not strong enough for the surgery. So Dr. Now told him, you know, they can probably do the surgery, but he has to get more weight off. And in the meantime, though, he says that he's going to take uh, the lymphedema off his leg. And in my opinion, I think I'd rather have that done. I mean, I would I would want them both done. But hell, if I had to pick, I'd pick that. Get that off. And then I can, he's already lost over 100 pounds. You know, so at least you know you can lose it. But you can't lose that thing. It has to be cut off. But unfortunately, you know, we didn't get to see any any of that throughout this episode. We didn't get to see the, you know, Thedrick have the weight loss surgery. We didn't get to know if he lost any more weight. We definitely didn't get to see, you know, the, them doing the surgery and taking off the lymphedema. Um, so, yeah, we were pretty much just left with the unknown other than what we've seen in this video. I think he lost a total of like 150 pounds, 77 and 50. So like, we don't know. We don't know if he's lost the weight, you know, lo lost enough weight where it's safe for him to have the surgery. What's going on? Like I said, they just left us guessing. Um, I don't know. Eventually, hopefully they're going to do these follow up episodes. I don't know. I don't think we've even had follow ups from the last season. It's totally weird. But anyways, um, I like Dedrick. I think he'll go through and lose the weight if he stays motivated, man. And if his mom stays on his side and she doesn't start bringing the junk into his house and start enabling him again. You know, they did talk about in the episode how she wants to go on trips. She wants to do her own thing, and she wants him to take care of herself. So if they stick to that, I think he'll lose the weight on his own. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you thought about this episode, and I will see you guys for the next recap. Peace. Oh,